Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the very small collection from Soap and Glory called One Heck of a Blot. Now it consists of three products, a primer, a translucent powder and a foundation. Some of the products I absolutely love and then some of the products not so much. So let's jump right in with the first one which is the primer. This is on the love side. It is called One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. <laughs> it's quite the long name. It's meant to block shine for up to 12 hours. It's meant to matte and shrink your pores. I would say it does all of the above. Um, I'm really impressed with this. I have combination skin. In the summer months, it tends to be a lot more oilier than it is in the winter months. Um, my T-zone in particular gets very, very oily, especially in the more humid weather. And I find that my cheeks and my forehead can get quite dry. But I also find that they can get quite oily at the same time, which sounds bizarre. Now, I have been trying these products for about two to three weeks. I actually got the primer and the powder much earlier on because I liked them so much. I then got the foundation. So I've only been using the foundation for the last week, but the primer I've had for quite a few weeks now. I absolutely love it. We had some really humid weather here in England and this was a bit of a lifesaver. Um, Cause like I said, my, my skin does get so oily in that sort of weather. Um, but this really did help. I did notice a massive difference. I've tried other primers that are meant to sort of blot your face and I would say this is probably the best one I've tried. You get 30ml of product and it was, I believe, £10, which for a primer, I think is pretty good. If it's going to do the job, I'm more than happy to spend £10 on a primer. I don't think that's an extortion amount of money at all. I think that's a pretty fair price point for this. And it does work. I would absolutely repurchase it again. In the warmer weather, I tended to put it all over my face. But now we're getting into kind of the colder, more bitter weather. And I am getting dry patches. I've literally just been putting it in my T-zone. And it's worked absolutely fine. Now, along with that, I use the translucent powder. I absolutely love this. You get nine grams of powder in this one. And this is also, I think, around 10 pounds. And as you can see, I've had it maybe three weeks maximum, I guess. And already I'm hitting pan on it. I absolutely love it. I haven't noticed any flashback. Um, not that I actually use my flash that often, but I haven't noticed anything when I have been out of an evening and taken a photo with the flash on. I wouldn't say it's completely translucent. It has got a bit of a colour to it, but it isn't overly pale. For my sort of skin tone, I would say it's pretty perfect. It's slightly paler than what I would get on a normal powder, but for me, it's been pretty, it's pretty spot on. I have put it on with both a brush and also my beauty blender. What I tend to do is with my beauty blender, I apply it under the eye and around any of the areas where I do get more oily, so my chin, around my nose, kind of in between my eyebrows and forehead. And then for the rest of my face, I just get a big fluffy brush and kind of whiz it all around. It makes a really good eyeshadow primer as well. I literally just get my finger and put it on my eyelid before I apply any of my eyeshadow and I find that has worked really well. I'm really, really impressed with this, and for £10, I think it is a bargain. Now, the foundation, um, also called One Heck of a Blot Foundation. Uh, it comes in four shades, I believe. I got the colour called Fair Enough, which was the lightest shade. I've used it now for four or five days, every single day. Tried it out. I put it on with a beauty blender. I put it on with a foundation brush. Um, it does say to either use your fingers, which I'd rather not, or a brush. Um, the first time I used it, I used it with a beauty blender, kind of threw out the rule book and went to do it my own way. Um, and it was it was not, not a good look. At first it was all right. It didn't go on great. I, I found it quite difficult to work with, but I did notice throughout the day that it just didn't stay on my face at all. I didn't like the finish of it. Um, it is a liquid to powder finish, which you kind of expect from a matte foundation. 
I'm not in love with it. I just find it really difficult to work with and it shouldn't be that hard. Buying that one time with the beauty blender, every other time I've used a foundation brush, that has worked much better but you have to be really careful. I find if you use it sparingly it does work better because it can get a little cakey. Once you put your concealer on and everything else and the powder it just got a bit cakey and I found throughout the day in the areas that I did get more oily it just slid off my face in the end. And I've had this foundation on now since about half past eight this morning. It's now five o'clock. So we're on about hour eight or nine, I think. It does say it's 12 hour long wear. I wouldn't even say it was six hour long wear. <laughs> Maybe even less than that, to be honest. I've actually repowdered since I've got in from work. If I zoom you in close. Oh, God, this foundation's awful. I should have not blotted. I should have just started filming literally as I walked in through the door from work and not reapplied any of the makeup. But <laughs> it really is not a good look. It doesn't even really cover your spots. I just don't, I don't get how they can call it full coverage actually. Because if you put too much of it on, you get cake face. It's just, it's, no, it's not a good look. And even half past eight this morning when I was putting my makeup on, it was getting cakey. It was really catching on to all that kind of the dryness and any sort of spots that I had. It just kind of magnified them. It made them more noticeable, I felt. The foundation's 12 pounds. I've got foundations that are double the price of that and I would pay that time and time again for them. And I wouldn't pay the 12 pounds for this. I, it's just not worth it. I think if you had really, really oily skin and you had oily skin all over, this would probably be quite good for you. If you're like me and you've got combination, you've got any sort of dryness or even sort of acne prone skin, any blemishes or or spots, this is, is not going to be your friend. They're the three products from the One Heck of a Block collection like i said loved the primer would repurchase loved the powder would repurchase foundation not so much maybe in the summer i will try it again and i might feel differently um but now we're coming into winter definitely not i'm quite happy to carry on using my normal foundations that i love and using the powder and the primer and that i think will do the job for me absolutely fine so I hope that video has been some use to you. I'm sure if you're part of the oily skin fam, did I just say fam? If you are part of the oily skin family, because I'm over 30 and can't put a fam, I'm afraid. I really do think you'll appreciate these products. Fam. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram, and Snapchat. The details should be on the screen somewhere. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.